All right, so if you have a Canvas assignment, you can use the speed grader to quickly grade these assignments. There's two options to get to the speed grader. Option one is to click the grades link, find the assignment, and then choose the option speed grader. But you can also just go to the assignment and choose speed grader. So it will open up and you will be able to see the assignment. Okay. You'll go through the assignment, check their scores, and give them a point value. Another option is you can attach a rubric to this. Oh, you know what? Let me talk about these. I think I talked about them in another video. But um, with the assignment itself, you have annotation tools where you can highlight and even leave a comment. Um, please underline book titles, I, I know they did, but you could leave whatever comment you want. Um, you can um, type text inside here, watch your spelling. You can do whatever you want with these annotation tools. I just love it. You've got the marker tool, so I can you know do something like that. And again, I can leave a comment that goes with that marker tool. So lots of annotation features, it, great for feedback. Um, and it is perfect along with giving a score. Another idea for feedback is to attach a rubric. If you have done that, you will get the view rubric. Um, this was just a, a quick fake rubric, but if you have it, it might be a lot longer than this, but you simply click whatever it is that you've put inside your rubric, it will total up all the points. In this case, I only had one a row, but maybe you have 10 rows and you click all the different ratings, it'll add up all the points for you. You hit save and it'll automatically put the points up there. It's going to show who graded it. There is an option to grade anonymously if that's something um, you're interested in. That just means that you didn't know whose paper you were grading at the time of grading it. Sometimes um, kids like that so that they know you weren't swayed by you know, whether they're good or bad in class. I don't know. It, to me, it's it's um, not something I'm interested in, but it does show the kid if you graded it knowing who they were or anonymously, not knowing who they were. All right, you can also, for feedback, leave a comment here. If you leave a comment here, you will need to hit submit. So the rubric is going to save when you hit save. The score is going to save automatically when you go to the next student but if you're typing a comment you have to hit submit you can attach something to the comment you can use a video uh, or audio as a comment or you can text uh, speech to text comment this one's kind of fun let me show you this one hit record excellent job on this assignment exclamation point and now, you know, it's just a faster way to leave feedback and then you can hit submit. All right, so those are all the different options with assignments, uh, using the speed grader, using the annotation tools, using feedback options such as the rubric or leaving a general comment as well.